For a lot of people, 5G has been quite disappointing. Often, its speeds aren't that much better than 4G, and they can be pretty inconsistent, which can be frustrating. In this video, we've explained 5 ways you can improve your 5G speeds, helping you get faster, more consistent internet. But before we begin, if you're looking for a new phone or SIM only deal, maybe to change 5G networks, click the link in the description to come to greensmartphones.com. Here, you can view the cheapest smartphone and SIM only deals on the market at the moment from all of the major providers, and it's easy to filter by 5G only deals or by specific networks if you're looking to change to get better 5G speeds. Starting with the easiest method, you can often get better 5G speeds just by restarting your phone. For most people, you probably don't restart your phone that often, and that can mean your phone hasn't had the chance to reset its mobile network settings in a long time. By restarting your phone, you can resync the device with the 5G network, potentially helping you get better speeds, especially if it's been a long time since you last did this. What can happen is, your phone might be locked onto a suboptimal frequency band, even when a better one is available to use. By restarting your phone, you can switch bands and also reset other network settings, potentially helping you get better 5G speeds. The next most common reason for poor 5G speeds is interference. 5G uses high frequency millimeter wave bands, which means it can be very prone to interference. Commonly, it's just the walls of your building that will block signal the most. This is why you can often get better 5G signal just by moving from one side of the house to the other, or by moving to an upstairs location somewhere on the edge of the house, like by a windowsill. You'll normally pick up better 5G speeds, depending on how good the 5G signal is at your location. We can see a really good example of this if we come to greensmartphones.com, click more details on a deal, and then go to a network coverage map. If we put in a postcode, and then come to 5G, as you can see, there's a big difference in terms of areas where you can expect to receive indoor and outdoor 5G signal, because buildings do a really good job of blocking millimeter wave signal. Fortunately, you don't need to worry about things like Wi-Fi and most other wireless devices interfering with 5G. Even though Wi-Fi does use the 5 GHz band, there isn't any overlap between Wi-Fi and 5G, but other physical objects can cause interference. A fish tank is a really good example, if you happen to have one around, because it's full of water, which does a really good job of blocking 5G, as well as things like tall trees and that sort of thing. Some of these sources of interference can be difficult to move or get around, but if you can, it's a good idea to move away from anything blocking your line of sight to the nearest 5G mast in order to get better 5G speeds, even though this sometimes can be quite difficult. So, as we just discussed, to get the best possible 5G speeds, your position relative to the mast, and anything that could be blocking this, is quite important to consider. So with that in mind, to get better 5G speeds, it's a good idea to pay attention to where the nearest mast is. And to do that, you can use this website called cellmapper.net. As the name implies, this website maps cell tower locations throughout the UK. Just click provider in the top left, choose your provider, and then click 4G LTE. Their data on 5G towers isn't perfect at the moment, but normally they're installed at the same site as 4G, so it's best to use 4G at the moment. Then you can see where the nearest tower is to where you live. Once you know where the nearest tower is, you can get a better idea of where and why your speeds are bad, and maybe reposition yourself to get better speeds when using 5G. For example, let's say you lived on this street here, Abbey Way, further east, about here. But your 5G speeds aren't amazing, maybe because there's some taller buildings on this road here, in between you and the mast. In this case, to get the best possible 5G speeds, you'll probably want to be on the west side of the property, as high up as possible, right towards the edge, for example near a window, as close to this tower as you can get, assuming the mast also carries 5G, which it almost certainly does. It can seem a bit of a hassle, but often the best way to get the best possible 5G speeds is to switch mobile network, because there's actually a huge difference in the speeds on offer from the big four mobile networks. As you can see from this report, published by speedtest.net, on average, 3 has the fastest 5G speeds in the UK, followed by Vodafone, EE, and then O2, but the difference is absolutely huge. If you're on 3, on average, your download speeds on 5G are more than 3 times as high as on O2, and more than twice as high as on EE. 
And it's the same story when it comes to coverage. So this is what 5G coverage looks like at that postcode we looked at before on 3. If we come to greensmartphones.com and then choose O2, click more details on an O2 deal and go to the coverage checker. Let's put in that postcode to compare the coverage. So as you can see, the 5G coverage on offer is just completely different. With O2, they don't even advertise having good indoor 5G coverage in any of this part of central London, and their patches with no coverage are just completely different to 3's. So really, it pays to be using the best 5G network in your area in order to get the best possible 5G speeds, because otherwise, you might often be dropping down to 4G, or you might be on a network with just really bad 5G speeds at your address. If you are considering changing network, Make sure to click the link in the description to come to greensmartphones.com and you can easily compare the cheapest prices on the market on all of the major networks to help you get better speeds. And if you click more details on a deal, you can jump to the network coverage checker to get a better idea of what your speeds and signal will be like at your address. If none of the major mobile networks have really good coverage where you live, there's one other thing you can do to get better 5G speeds. You can buy these signal booster devices from companies like signalboosters.co.uk to help you get better speeds and signal inside your house. Basically, you install one end somewhere with better signal, like an upstairs window, to capture 5G signal. The signal is then sent to this other device and rebroadcasted, giving you better signal and speeds. This sort of setup is quite common with 5G home broadband, where you have an antenna on the outside of your house to help pick up better signal, and the signal is then sent internally and rebroadcasted to give you better speeds. The issue is, these devices are quite expensive and can be a bit involved to set up, but as a last resort, they're worth trying if you don't mind spending this much money and really need better 5G speeds at home. We'd only try this though after you've made sure you're on the best 5G network at your address. Because even if you have to pay for a more expensive mobile contract with a network like 3 or EE, it's probably going to be a lot cheaper than paying £700 or so for one of these devices. So thanks for watching, and remember, if you're considering switching mobile network, click the link in the description to use greensmartphones.com to compare the cheapest tariffs on the market at the moment. Just use the search bar here, click on SIM only, or navigate to a phone you want to buy, and you can easily find the cheapest deals on the market, no matter which network you want to use. And if you have any questions about improving your 5G speeds, leave a comment below, and we'll respond as soon as we can.